Hey you guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to show you how I got these voluminous, soft, and shiny curls. I'm also going to show you a few different styles that you can do just, you know, to switch it up. Now I'll be showing you some new products from the brand Nourish and Shine. These products are cruelty free and vegan. They're also free of parabens and mineral oil and they're just made to simply nourish and hydrate your hair while giving it softness and shine. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned. So of course I am starting on freshly washed and conditioned hair. I just feel like that gives you the best results every time and you see the Nourish and Shine collection right behind me. So yeah, I just started to section off my hair and you're gonna see that these undefined kind of dry frizzy curls are going to become soft and defined. So I did just start off not with water but with the Nourish and Shine Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. And if I didn't mention, all of these products are made for curls and coils, you guys. So specifically for us. This leave-in is made with sunflower oil and aloe vera. And you can definitely feel it when you're putting it onto your hair. It's supposed to be used on dry hair to reduce dryness and improve manageability and shine. Which I definitely feel like it did. And even though it's lightweight, like I said, you can feel, you know, the oils and other ingredients that really just help to, you know, make your hair a bit softer and more manageable before you go on to like your moisture and styling products. Now next, I use the Foaming Curl Primer. This is meant to seal and sculpt. It's made with sunflower oil and honey. And if I didn't mention, all of these products smell like sunflower and they smell so good. Now, even though this does have the consistency of a foam, this is a pre-styling conditioner. So you use this on your hair so that your curls can become nice and sculpted. So you'll see in just a second how the product just kind of forms um, or, or builds I should say around my curls and helps to elongate them and also define and just make them pop So I did love how this felt on my hair It was nice and softening and I loved how my curls were looking But it does recommend to pair or follow up with another Jane Carter product Specifically a styler which you guys will see me use Last but not least, I did go in with the Curl Defining Cream and this is supposed to elongate and define and it's made with sunflower and jojoba oil. So I love the fact that all of these products are infused with really good ingredients and oils. This product was really nice and creamy. Um, I love that, you know, it wasn't too light but it wasn't like too thick, it was just perfect. And this going onto my hair, you guys, was so softening. It just gave me that like last boost of moisture that um, I really appreciated. Um, Y'all know, I love the soft curls. That's what we want. We want the nourishment and hydration. So I just applied this to my hair and this also helps with elongating and defining my curls really enjoyed this product as well so now that my hair is um hydrated it's you know defined you can choose whichever style whether it's a wash and go or twist out and i chose to do a braid and curl because it's been a while so i'm going to just braid up my hair and once i get close to the ends i would say about maybe a third of the way down um i'm going to just roll this orange rod or roll my hair on this orange rod and yeah that's the braiding curl <music> So I am just going to fast forward through the rest of this process, but it's the exact same steps. I start with the revitalizing leave-in conditioner, then with the foaming curl primer, and then I end off with the curl defining cream. Now what I really loved about these products is that um, although 
they do feel lighter to me um they have a ton of moisture so i really love that they're not too heavy or you know overpowering they're just perfect So right here, you just see me putting a duck clip on my root. I put one on each side and I only put that on for a little while, uh, maybe about an hour and then I took it off just because I didn't want a dent or anything left in my hair, but that was solely to, you know, reduce like puffiness. But yeah, these are my braids with the rods at the end and I sat underneath my hooded dryer for a bit and then I just air dried the rest overnight. So the next day after, you know, I'm all dressed and all that, this is what my hair is looking like. And my hair was feeling really, really soft. So I was super eager to just take everything down. So of course I started with the rods and you see the nice little curl it has on the ends. I love doing braid and curls just solely for that reason. Like the nice big curl on the end is like just super cute. So I'm gonna take those down and then I am going to go in with this Nourish and Shine Restore restorative butter this is made with sunflower oil and shea butter and i really love this product because you kind of just allow it to melt into your hands and so i chose to use this for you know kind of to replace my oil that i would use to help reduce frizz and add some extra shine while i take down my hairstyle So this is what my hair is looking like when I took the braids down. Super defined, super shiny, moisturized, just everything. Um, so now I'm just going to separate the curls, of course. I go one by one, separate or separating, um, making sure to twirl my ends around my finger just to kind of keep the curl intact. And once I do that, I'll go in, do my edges, fluff so I can get, you know, the volume that I like and um, um, I'll show you guys the final look. So this is the final look, you guys. The braid and curl came out so good. My hair was so soft. It smelled good. It had shine. It had tons of volume. Sometimes with certain products, I'm not able to get, you know, this much volume. But this is the first style. You can just wear it as is, you know, kind of lay your edges to give it, you know, a little bit of something. And then I'm going to show you the second style, which is like a low ponytail. Um, but I am going to kind of leave like a little side swoop uh, So I'll show you that and it's really quick and simple And if you want to kind of jazz it up even more you can add a bit more gel gel and make it more sleek
this is the last style you guys and it's pretty much like a pinned look I'm going to just pin this side of my hair with some bobby pins and then I'll go in with a cute gold clip that I got from the beauty supply store and it says star and that is the last look you guys so all of these styles are perfect for winter you get nice voluminous curls you know if you want to pull your hair back you can if you want to pin it up you can so let me know what you guys think about these quick and easy styles as well as these new nourish and shine products they worked amazing on my hair so i do definitely recommend them to you guys to try them out i will have a link down below where you can get more information on them and also pick them up for yourself so don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i'll see you in my next one